Welcome to Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. Yes, sir. TNT. So there was a man who was uh, he was just hanging out outside Brown Stadium at night, you know, because it's real. Have you ever been there? It's in the it's right, right, right in the heart of everything. Yeah, sure. Yeah, right on the coast where there's industrial shit everywhere. He's just hanging <laughs> out, dude. He's just he's out there. Yeah, yeah. And you know, and he, he somehow managed to find a way into the stadium. Hop the fence, I okay. think you said. Okay. Because, I mean, that's what you do. Yeah, I'd probably load up on beer and peanuts. <laughs> yeah, he's in there just cooking, making hot dogs. Mm. Uh, and he somehow, somehow there is like a full-blown truck in there already. Full-blown. Full-blown. I love those. My favorite truck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I hate when they're half-blown. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Underblown trucks, never. And the keys were in it. And the man decided to take it out and drive it around on the football yes, field. Yes, please tell me he did donuts on the field. He did. He, he did. did. He did. He essentially did donuts on the field. I mean, look it up. Bring right, it up on the computer. I'll bring it up. I'll bring there is. It up. I mean, all right. It's not like he like reinvented the field out here, but he uh, he definitely damaged some stuff. Oh my god! I already have the pictures oh, look ready. At that. <laughs> Imagine wow, look, that. Look out! Look out! On the crazytown.com where you can see this on our YouTube channel. Oh, look at that! Yeah, that looks like a rivet. He got a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit right there. Yeah, and then there's another one. Yeah, right there. Look at that. Then, Look okay. at that, dude. There's a guy out there with a, a, a grass Zamboni. Now, now, my question is, how much of an impact is this really going to have on a football player? I mean, all the impacts. They're supposed to have, like, pristine playing conditions. Look, these most of these kids grew up in, like... In poor neighborhoods and then like the the, the the fields or not even the fields but i was gonna say like the jungles of of uh the south america yeah, or Joey's whatever. yard has that weird gravel patch like on the corner yeah. like yeah don't hey, don't run over there by the by the goal zone exactly and i understand it's supposed to be like a pristine battlefield but come on man they they could handle that i mean but what if they catch a cleat and rip out their ankle <laughs> I, I mean yes i get it i get it but i feel like any any football player Looking at that is going to just be like, yeah, we got the it. The NBA fine. courts just got board missing. Look, <laughs> just one look. board. Honestly, I, I think that we should have them all just play on gravel. There's a circle in the hockey rink where you can like fish through, just open, just to fall into the ice. Yeah. Dude, I don't know. Yeah. Make I it more would, treacherous. Okay. I mean, I've already told you that I want to have the PEDs legal sports leagues where they can do all the juicing they want. Yeah, but you That's want the people to die. That's play on a gravel field, bro. Like, you, let's let's make this mutant league football. No, we yes. no. You just want everybody to be the liver king out the here. What the hell is the liver king? Oh, Jonas, don't know about the liver king. I, I guess not. Oh no, uh, liver king is a health advice guy. I guess um, been telling people to eat a lot of liver, and it just got turned. Found out that he uh, was juicing. Dude is built like freaking like an action figure. Oh, did you? He looks like Prince Adam. Speaking of people doing things. What? You mean steroids? Yeah, I guess. Uh, Who else got caught? No, the Rock. Did you see about like the FIFA World Cup where like Salt Bay was out on the field, like just celebrating with everyone. And like he tried to go to like this really famous soccer player and the dude just like blew him off. And like everyone's like, why the hell is this weird guy out there? I didn't even know who Salt Bay was. He's from the meme. But yeah. he's like, mm, wow, there's so much in the history of Salt, the legend of Salt Bay. The legend of Salt Bay is that he was in the meme and it was funny because he was just sprinkling the salt with his with his arm in a swan shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he ended up having his own restaurant and he, he comes out when you order like a super expensive meal or whatever. Oh, he does it for you? No, there's like, so there's like a steak that comes in a briefcase and you open it up and it's like the Pulp Fiction light goes off. Oh, that's kind of cool. And it's like a $1,500 steak. Oh, I'm not paying that much for food. And Salt Bay comes over and sprinkles salt on it for you and stuff. And then they walk away and you eat your You live steak. the meme? Uh, yeah, I mean, essentially. But, but people were mad. Like, I guess like Lionel Messi. He's like they a, should be mad because it's cringe. He's a very cringe. famous soccer player. You just yes. won the World Cup. The biggest sporting event in the world. Yeah. And and then oh, this, Morocco. this this asshole meme guys out here just like like grabs the the I trophy. He's like trying to like grab Messi <laughs> and stuff. He looks at him like who the f are you, dude? I saw when he grabbed the trophy, and it's like he's he's not even like a, a C list celebrity. This dude is like a F, like an F list G list celebrity. He's one step above us. Yeah. I mean, he's rich. He has a he has a restaurant. Yeah, so. like I'm, I guarantee you that like me or you have enough money to get Salt Bay to perform at like 
I don't know. Call them up. Be like, hey, you want to come to the crazy town bar mitzvah? Yeah. Like when we have uh, crazy town con. Yeah. Cra- yeah. When we have crazy town con. When all of, when everybody who loves our. It's a, it's a potluck and he comes out and just salts everything. Yeah. yeah. Ew. A potluck with all the people that subscribe to our channel. <laughs> Nothing against potluck. you guys. I don't like potlucks for people I Jones, know in real life. No, uh, Jones to try everything that you guys bring. Dude. Okay. So. Oh, oh God. Come <laughs> Oh, are we going to potlucks or are we waiting until the next episode? Because I can tell you some things about potlucks. No, I don't know why you're skipping over so much. Uh, man, I like pot- I like I like the fact that uh that Salt Bay was out there though. I think it's good. It's good because it means that uh like internationally uh internet personalities are getting a chance to hold these trophies yeah man. fifa was like we shouldn't have let him out on the field no they realized the mistake they yeah were- dude he was just like i don't know it's weird it, like i i'm kind of surprised that nobody punched him yeah because he i mean he has a very punchable face and that's where it kind of that's, <laughs> he does. on top of him He's trespassing a, if you don't know you gotta find look up salt bay which is like whatever. Why does he go by Salt Bay? Like because it was because Bay because Bay is the whole like yeah Salt before anything else. Mm. That's what Bay stands for. Jonas, man, <laughs> you hurt my heart, man. <laughs> like you used to know like like thirty percent of the memes Dude, I brought up. I, now uh, it's like zero. I uh, I don't I don't that's, submerge myself in that sort of activity anymore. Uh, I mean, but yeah, that's what Bay stands for. It's before anyone else. That's why you call your Bay. Your bae. Oh, I thought it was because of Bebe. No, it means because she's before anyone else. No, she's she, not. You hold her that close to your heart that she's before anyone else. Is she? It's an acronym. Oh, I love those. The, the, there used number. to be a game. What's that? That used to play on computer way back when the internet was new. Mm-hmm. And it was called Acrophobia. It was actually oh, yeah. a super fun game. And uh, you would, it, would, uh, it was kind of like a, um, I don't know, it was like, it was live. I'm trying to think if you downloaded an app or not to play it, or like it would have been a computer program back then. Um, for all you, for all you old fogies, it was off. But you download and like what what it would do is it, there was a whole bunch of people in a room. It was almost like um, not like battle royale, but I guess because you're not fighting. But it would pop up a, like letters on the screen, and Ew. then you would have to like everyone would create an acronym for that thing. Ew, it's and, like a learning game. No, 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 no. no it yes. would just it would just list like. S K I nah. it would say it would be like skid or whatever. And everyone would like create their own acronym and it could be dirty, it could be whatever, and then, then everyone in the game would vote for the best ones. And oh, then, it's and it's cards against humanity. Kind of, but it wasn't it, it like I don't think you could be completely filthy, was it? Because because you know how like the inter- well in the old internet, not everyone just was like F F N word, you know, like how mm, how the yeah, internet goes uh, now. Mm, well, mm. but but uh, <laughs> I mean, but yes, you could. Uh, but no, it was a fun game because it was like c- competitive, like come up with be witty, and I like that. I like come up with be witty games. All so. right, I thought it was like a learning game. No, no, I don't learn. Like, what's an acronym for this? So it's like, no. Uh, oh, in fact, it's closer to like, uh, what's the uh, the game Jackbox? It's a kind of, yeah, kind of like, but this was in like ninety eight. <laughs> All right, date myself. <laughs> I remember Arachnophobia with John Goodman. Oh yeah, and then uh, Eight Legged Freaks with the uh, with uh, David Arquette. Is John Goodman still alive? Mm. I think he is. Oh, let me Google that. I think John Goodman is still alive. The good man is alive? I'll Google it right now. Are you? I'm going to. All right. Is John Goodman dead? John Make sure you do the do the negative one. Is John Goodman dead? Oh yeah, I spelled good man. Good John space goodman. M slash. I'm not typing it all in. He is John Goodman. Scroll down. Go to his wiki. Okay. What does it say? Born. Yep. Ears active. Present. He's not dead. He is still alive, he's man. He's kicking he's, it, dude. He's still alive. He even survived the uh, Roxanne, the Ro- Roseanne controversy. Been- Look at that picture of him. Oh, my God. Look at that one. Go up. <laughs> right, 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 right. That one. Compare him from, like... He looks like goddamn. That is not him. That is him. That is not John Goodman. That is. This is not. This is not good for the audio only listeners. But that oh is my not. God. John Goodman. That is definitely. Look. Look at the comparison I'm of not, decline. I refuse to look at it anymore. So hey, man, don't you dare, <laughs> don't you dare do that. So, but anyways, uh, yeah. So like, this guy gets on the field. He f's us up. He drives around. Would you do that if you had broke into the field? We'll leave it on that, I guess. Um. I mean, I don't see anything. Did they find the guy? 
Yeah, I think he got. I mean, yeah, that's nuts. All right. I, I mean, mean, they have cameras. I mean, he. I don't yeah, think he got arrested so then. True. I think they said he was like nineteen or something. Yeah. And honestly, as a nineteen-year-old, yes, I would do something. That like sounds that. like some nineteen-year-old stuff. Hell yeah, and I'd be like I said, out there eating hot stadium dogs and drinking stadium <laughs> loggers. They're not cooking them, dude. He's like, I'm in section five hundred one making Man, beers. Man, if you can find a light switch, you can turn on the hot dog stand. Yeah, Baker's some, in there living still. Yeah, he he some, plays for Carolina or wherever. Who's he play for now? The Rams, yeah. but he still lives in the Cleveland stadium those were good commercials yep get, get your franks going get some drinks going and just chill out on the zamboni machine doing donuts play, play some xbox on the big screen oh, on the Titan i don't know if you could even find the hookups I'm, i guarantee you can plug an hdmi into that bitch you can play you go, some overwatch dude you go to the back of the titan tron it has uh, the rgb connectors <laughs> <laughs> anyways that's all the time we have today's episode please make sure to like and subscribe Go to thecrazytown.com to see all this video we're talking about for Jonas. TNT. Yep.